Hello and welcome. My name is Ashling. Thanks for joining me. A bit of a vlog for you this week. So this weekend is falling. So we have St. Patrick's Day on Friday and Mother's Day on Sunday. So a bit of a busier weekend. I'm going to a bit of a poetry event as well, a spoken word event with Stephen James Smith and Emmett Kerwin, two Irish spoken word poets who are phenomenal. But because I'll be out and about, I'm not expecting to get too much reading done, although would really like to get to Claire Keegan's Foster. It's been on my mind a bit, so hopefully I'll get into that a bit this weekend. Full disclosure, I doubt there will be any St. Patrick's Day content because I don't tend to go to the parades. I don't drink, I don't have kids. Like, I know I'm Irish, but it tends to be a bit of a messy day and it's supposed to be raining all weekend as well. So we'll probably skip out on that. So if you're looking for some authentic St. Patrick's Day footage, uh, just imagine me sitting at home doing very little. <laughs> slow and steady and have been feeling like because there are so many characters in this book I think there's like 600 characters so there's I had been feeling like I wasn't really connecting with them um, any of them all that much but on page 986 of my copy Tolstoy has done me dirty and I actually feel really upset he has um not been kind to my favorite character fair play Tolstoy it's a uh, one up to you appropriate for a Sunday. I love the rain, I love rainy days. Obviously they can be a bit of an inconvenience sometimes but look I'm quite fortunate because I live in Ireland it rains a lot and I love the rain so cool. It's been a bit of a day I won't lie. We Our heating we can't use because there's oil leaking out of it and the house just smells really badly of oil and I've just been going around with a headache the last day and a half. Hopefully that's getting sorted soon. Now we can't heat our water. The boiler seems to be broken or the thermostat in it or something is not working. So last night I fell asleep at like midnight or whatever, which was a little bit late for me. But then uh, I woke up at 3 a.m. And the 
that was pretty much it. I was awake then until like 7 and I slept for another hour and then I got up because it's Mother's Day in Ireland today. I know it falls on a different day here than it does in the States and some other countries so don't panic. You haven't missed Mother's Day. <laughs> well, maybe you have. So uh, I got up and did some bits with my mum. Gave her some gifts, which she seemed quite happy with, thankfully. And we went and did some shopping and got some nice stuff for lunch, made some soup. I'm very tired, but um, as I said, I woke up at like 3 a.m. and I was just lying in bed and just couldn't sleep. And I know that after like a half an hour, if you can't sleep, you're supposed to just get up and do some stuff. But um, now I just lay in bed eventually. So I'm still reading War and Peace. I only have 150 pages to go, but I can't read it in bed because it's just too big. And the amount of times I've dropped that thing on my face and um, busted my lip and everything. like. So um, I decided to start another book in the meantime. Um, so I started The Housekeeper and The Professor. And boy oh boy am I glad I did. That's the one that I spoke about in my last video. Um, the opening line was quite interesting, quite nice. We called him the professor and he called my son Root because he said the flat top of his head reminded him of the square root sign. Which is kind of cute. But um, I am 40 pages in and it's a small book, not just physically. Like I think it's only about 180 pages, but it's a small book in that so far it's just set in this one house that has two rooms and there are kind of three main characters and so far a side character who may become a main character, who knows. So it's small, it's quite contained and it seems to be kind of really character driven and just about the people and about their relationships and about their little day to day comings and goings in this small space and there's something really lovely about it. I love small books, books that are just about the little things. I don't mean like tiny books, I love tiny books but I love Buster books as well. So It's a Japanese translation. It was translated from Japanese by Stephen Snyder. I love the simplicity of the language that seems to be used in Japanese books. Now I don't know if the language seems really simple, really easy to read and I don't know if it's just me, I don't know if I'm just really tired and I was just, I was just really tired when I was reading but there seems to be like a little undertone of sadness and I love that in a book. <laughs> Maybe I'm projecting, who knows, I need some more sleep, I'll figure it out then. Gonna go do some yoga now and maybe read, maybe play some video games. I feel like I should nap, but I know that if I nap I'll probably just sleep forever and then we'll be able to sleep tonight again. Woohoo! The joys of being a human with a body. I just want to show you this thing at my bookshelf. So it's this little kit that I got for Christmas. I think the brand was Row Life. And you get all these little bits and you get to make them all up with glue and little screws and What's amazing is I actually wired that lighting myself. Look at the cute little kitty cat. Oh man, I, I don't think I've ever been as proud of anything that I've ever made before. Like look how nice that is on a shelf. printer finally came back to life. I am working on some printmaking stuff, dotting the I's, crossing the T's, just getting everything finished. My hand up is this week coming and I have so much to do because who would I be if I didn't procrastinate till the very last second? So there hasn't been a whole lot of reading getting done. I'll actually show you, like, they're not perfect prints, but I've been working on some screen printing. And, um, they're kind of the last 
prints that I made and they came out a bit better than I expected. Uh, that one wasn't actually my best one, but that's okay. I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm like not into sitting at this desk writing about things that I've done. I just like to go in and print and this whole idea of like documenting the process, which is something I should have done the whole way through and didn't, knew I would regret it. But uh, we're cashing all that regret in now and working on it as best I can. So yeah, this is like the massive notebook that I've been carrying around with me the last while and just kind of working on and I'm so ready to get rid of it. So that's what I am up to instead of reading. Just taking a quick break from the printmaking stuff because although I love arts and crafts I'm getting really tired of uh, print sticking unsuccessful prints into a book that will no longer fit any more prints. It's fit to burst. Much regret in terms of procrastinating but I just wanted to let you know that I'm um, on St Patrick's Day uh, apart from essentially not leaving the house and maybe well, we went to Tesco, bought some ingredients to make some vegan carbonara, which was chef's kiss. Um, self praise is no praise and all that, but it was lovely. Um, but I also read Foster by Claire Keegan. It was one of the books I mentioned in my last video. It's, it's very short. It is 88 pages, so it's more like a novella. So I had seen the film The Quiet Girl or On Colleen Kuhn. And I had a feeling after reading Claire Keegan's latest novel, Small Things Like These, and after seeing the film of this, that I would love it. No surprises, Claire Keegan's language is exquisite. She doesn't waste any words, everything in its place. It feels really familiar, really homely, really nostalgic for me in a way. Now, I was never sent away by my parents in the summer or anything, but um, yes, I really enjoyed it. So it's about a girl that sent away to some relatives that she doesn't really know very well over summer while her mother's having a baby just to kind of help give her mom a break. It's just about the slow summer that she spends with this family and the things that they do on the farm and it feels really kind of sentimental and really soft and it's just a really lovely story. I just, look, I got five stars. Hello cat. It was impeccable so yeah what have you been reading what have you been up to have your pets been constantly headbutting you too i'm gonna sign out here because i just don't have any more time to vlog before uh wednesday when i'm hoping this video will be up so we're gonna we're gonna call it there oscar aren't we yeah good girl we'll talk to you soon bye bye she looks so angry.